I saw that tornado warning on Saturday. I, w I was outside in Bernalillo at my son's baseball <laughs> game. A perfect place yeah. to be, and, obviously. You know, not that far. <laughs> but uh, it, it, all of the parents were like, hey, Miss Springs for a tornado <laughs> warning? It's wild. Yeah. And the EF unknown, it makes it kind of spooky. Mm, yeah, very yeah. New Mexico. It's just because you can't <laughs> find the damage. It's, you know, it's a damage scale. If, yeah. you, if you can't find the damage, you can't measure it. Spencer we don't have like it. a, yeah, we don't have a, a <laughs> sensor measuring the wind. You know, so, yeah, that's your found it. Well, here's, a, here's kind of a map of it. This is uh, about the location back on Saturday. Kind of, kind of the nearest area, near kind of near that Battleship Rock area, one of the landmarks there along uh, State Highway 4. So again, that was back on Saturday. But tornadoes in New Mexico, this is the big month, May and June. However, a lot of times they're kind of in the eastern parts of the state, so usually not in the mountains. But these are the severe storm season months, usually May, June, even going into July and August for other types of severe weather. So kind of watch, you know, whenever there is a storm this time of year, it could become severe. The next severe weather threat, though, is Wednesday, maybe even spilling in a bit of Thursday. This is the outlook from the Storm Prediction Center, and we have kind of the eastern edge of the state in this green color, the level one, the low end probability, but there could be some strong winds or hail, potentially with a couple storms over the eastern areas of the state from near Clovis or so to the north. Rain chances overall will be going up. This is Albuquerque. Small rain chance tomorrow, but up to about 40% or maybe a little higher on Thursday. That could be higher in the mountains and over especially some of the eastern areas of the state before things kind of dry out for the weekend. But that's our next storm chance. And you'll see here on the weather map, a cold front is coming in. Not a strong one in terms of temperatures drops, but uh, it's enough combined with this front and a disturbance approaching the atmosphere to generate some uplift in the atmosphere to give you some daytime showers and storms that get maybe a little more intense. But again, you don't see a, like a big wall of rain here. It's just scattered showers and storms, but more numerous, more likely in the mountains and to the east. And then Thursdays could pick up an activity, especially late Wednesday night and Thursday before the front moves out. But that will bring down temperatures a bit, but just temporarily. We get a little cooler on Thursday, so maybe a couple showers and storms during the morning hours especially. But by Friday, it's long gone. We're back in the sunshine, very limited shower activity. It may be kind of like it's been the last couple days. You may have a couple showers in the mountains or even less than we've seen. But it will really warm up next weekend. But in terms of rainfall, if you're still looking for rain, not crazy amounts of rain, but maybe enough to get a good half an inch or so in the highest of areas. If you look at the outlook from the this is from the Weather Prediction Center and generally the darker green areas, maybe a quarter to half an inch of rain possibilities. That's at least a potential, not everywhere exactly that amount, but it gives you an idea. There could be some decent rainfall totals on Wednesday and Thursday in the southeast tomorrow. We're talking 90s returning in many areas, 95 in Roswell. Cools a little bit with the cold front and the clouds and showers on Thursday. But look at those temperatures. They go nuts after that. Upper 90s around 100 by Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday as the heat returns. Southwest tomorrow, we're looking at sunshine and pretty much dry weather. Las Cruces around 91 in the afternoon. Silver City at 79. In the northwest, there may be a couple showers in the afternoon as that cold front gets closer and sparks a shower storm in spots. But generally a warm afternoon in the 70s. Farmington at about 78 degrees, a 10% chance for rain. It actually probably gets pushed south by Thursday in other parts of the state, so you're probably dry in the northwest by Thursday. It could be a bit windy by Monday ahead of another little disturbance coming in. In the North Mountains, again, a shower storm here and there, but most of the time it's dry, especially in the morning. Santa Fe in the 70s in the afternoon, and rain chances at 40% tomorrow, highest in the afternoon, and then continue into Wednesday night and Thursday morning, especially highs dip into the 60s, but then we come right back up to about 80 or so Saturday and Sunday with a very nice weekend in terms of sunshine and not too much wind around those days until the winds pick up maybe on Monday. In the northeast, again, showers and storms here and there. Temperatures in the 70s tomorrow as the cold front gets closer. In the east mountains, starts off dry, maybe a brief shower storm in the afternoon, but temperatures mainly in the 70s. As we look into the metro area, we're talking about temperatures probably busting the 80-degree mark again tomorrow, but as we warm up, possibility there might be a late afternoon shower or storm somewhere nearby, but most places probably dry during the day. So Rio Rancho cools off again a bit on Thursday with highs in the 60s, but back up in the upper 80s, close to 90 on Saturday and Sunday. And in Albuquerque for the next seven days, that same trend as well. We're talking about a rain chance slightly increasing tomorrow. Thursday is probably the best chance for a shower or storm with highs in the 70s. And then really get warm. It gets warm and sunny over the weekend. Upper 80s may touch 90 in some areas. And we'll keep you updated on that little taste of summer for the weekend as the week progresses.